Welcome to the second Dawn of War 3 tutorial. This tutorial will cover elite units, resource capture, line unit upgrades, and advanced combat. We will begin by calling in an elite unit, Gabriel Angelos. Elite units are stronger than line units and possess powerful abilities. They are not deployed from base structures, but are equipped before a match and unlocked in battle by spending elite points. Deploy elite unit Gabriel Angelos to the battlefield. Our elite battle brothers are ready to deploy at your word. Gabriel is a powerful melee unit with crowd control abilities. He will accompany your line units and give them a decisive advantage. Gabriel Angelos is deployed and ready for combat. Take Gabriel and your line units to locate a nearby resource point. Resource points will boost your income and allow you to further build your army. The foe is in heavy cover. Kill the enemies blocking the path to get to the resource point. This day holds glory! Moving! Kill the enemies blocking the path to get to the resource point. Enemy target neutralized! The enemy is now out of your way. Press further to the resource point. Press further to the resource point. There's the resource point. Move your units inside the resource point's capture radius in order to capture the point. Your units must remain within the capture radius until the capture timer is full in order to own the resource point. The point is yours. Shall be done. You cannot gain resources from a point until you upgrade it with an add-on. Purchase the requisition add-on by clicking the requisition add-on button over the resource point. The requisition generator boosts the amount of requisition you gain from a point. Requisition is the resource used for purchasing vehicle upgrades and infantry units. A power generator is the second type of resource add-on that you can construct. Power is the resource used to construct infantry upgrades and vehicle units. Most upgrades and unit purchases require a little of both of these resources. The requisition generator is finished. You will now gain requisition from this resource point. Let us further increase the requisition we are getting from this add-on by purchasing the point's resource upgrade. When your point is done upgrading, the amount of resources it generates will be increased. He who fights with me shall be my brother. Ready. Upgrade is... Enemies are on their way to attack your resource point. Move Gabriel to the entry point to guard the area. Chapter Master setting out. Kill the enemy. Another defeat to my enemy! Hostiles killed! Gabriel has sustained damage to his health. Base buildings have an ability called Healing Aura that heals elites. Out-of-combat elites that stand next to a base building will have their health restored. 
Move Gabriel next to your base building to heal him. I understand. Chapter Command fights with you. Move Gabriel next to your base building to heal him. Angelos. You have marching there now. Tactical Marines ready. I will carry out this plan. We've completed a power generator. He who fights with me shall be my brother. Doing it now. Move Gabriel next to your base building to heal him. Gabriel has been healed and is ready to return to the battle. Setting out. We must now take the fight to the enemy. We will use scout squads to track down the enemy. Deploy two scout squads from the barracks. Preparing sc scouts are stealth units with a large line of sight. Stealth units can only be sighted by enemy detector units. Scout Marine. You have your first squad of scouts. Deploy one more. All builder units, such as the Servitor, have the ability to detect stealth units. Scout Marines. Your scout squads are ready. Before we take your infantry into battle, we will upgrade their attack strength at the Arsenal building. The Arsenal is the Space Marines' upgrade structure. Use your Servitor to construct the Arsenal. You can locate your Servitor by double-clicking the Servitor's portrait in your unit queue. Initiating Arsenal deployment. Use a servitor to construct... With the arsenal finished, you can now purchase upgrades for your line units. New abilities for some line units can also be purchased from an upgrade structure. With an upgrade structure, you can purchase health and damage upgrades for your line units. Purchase the infantry damage upgrade from the arsenal. The infantry damage upgrade boosts the damage of basic infantry units. Building an arsenal also gives your tactical marine squads the ability to upgrade themselves with powerful late game weaponry. We will now upgrade a tactical marine squad with the plasma gun upgrade. Select a tactical marine squad and left click the plasma gun upgrade. The might of the blood ravens is with you. Upgrading. Plasma guns are powerful ranged weapons that fire more rapidly while stationary. If they sustain fire too long while stationary, their guns will overheat and have to cool before resuming fire. Now that your army is upgraded, use it to investigate the hostile area outside of your base. 
Remember to use your scout squad's stealth capabilities to scout ahead. There are enemies ahead. However, there is a patch of stealth cover you can use to hide your units. Units inside stealth cover are hidden from view from enemy units outside of it. This allows your units to scout what lies behind stealth cover without revealing themselves to enemies on the other side. Enemy units can gain sight of your units only if they enter the stealth cover with your units. Use stealth cover to ambush your enemies. The area ahead is treacherous. Use your scouts to scout out any hostile enemies ahead. Do not let your scouts become detected. What shall we do with our surplus of requisition? There may be enemies inside that stealth cover. Use your camouflaged scouts to safely scout any enemies in the stealth cover. Kill the enemies you find. Blind grenade, blind grenade away. <laughs> Kill the enemies you find in the stealth cover. Make way! I agree! We serve the chapter. Angelos! Not on can stop me! There is an enemy force up ahead. Scout out the enemy force on the upper platform. The enemy has captured the next resource point and built a listening post to protect it. A listening post is a structure with a ranged weapon that also protects resource add-ons from damage. Before you can destroy enemy add-ons or capture an enemy point, you must first destroy the listening post that protects it. Once the listening post is gone, you can destroy the enemy add-ons and take the point for yourself. Destroy the listening post. Our enemies are way bigger! the listening post. The listening post is destroyed, and the resource point is now vulnerable to capture. Capture the resource point. centers around Dawn of War 3 multiplayer.
Welcome to the battlefield, brother. This tutorial will teach you the mechanics unique to a multiplayer match. You've arrived just in time. The enemy has destroyed our critical structures and exposed our power core for attack. The battle will result in defeat if our power core is destroyed. However, if we can fight back and destroy the enemy's power core, victory is ours. We need your elite unit, Gabriel Angelos, to swing this battle in our favor. However, we need to accumulate enough elite points to deploy him. You gain elite points over time, but you can speed up point accumulation by constructing an elite point generator on a resource point. This resource point is already captured. You can construct add-ons and listening posts on any point captured by you or an ally. All your teammates will gain full economic benefit from a point's add-ons. The enemy is upon us. Defend our resource point until we have enough elite points to deploy Gabriel Angelos. Left click on the elite point generator button above the resource point in order to deploy Gabriel faster. Our elite points will increase faster once the point is done upgrading to the new add-on. are on their way. Reinforcements are on their way. Fresh reinforcements are on their way. We have enough elite points to deploy Gabriel Angelos. Elites like Gabriel can only be deployed next to friendly resource points, critical structures, and strongholds. Kill the remaining enemies. Fresh reinforcements are on their way. Our enemies await death. I will ensure kill the remaining enemies. Another tally to us. I will not falter. That's the here. Repositioning. Now is our chance to counterattack. In order to achieve victory, we must destroy the enemy's critical structures. The structures are the shield generator, the turret, and finally, the power core. These structures grant defenses to each other, so they must be destroyed in that order. Destroy the shield generator. Chapter Master setting out. Chapter, I will carry out this plan. Destroy the shield generator. Doing it now. The enemy is trying to take cover behind the shield generator's shield. We must destroy its shield before we can destroy the shield generator. Destroy the shield generator. Display the enemy of cover! Its life purpose was merely to fuel my weapon! This day holds glory! Stay the soil!
destroying it rewards us with extra resources and also makes the turret vulnerable. Your ally is recklessly attacking the turret. The turret will infrequently fire a beam attack that damages units in a line. The turret has a triggerable ability called Shockwave that stuns units around it. The turret's basic attack will cycle between different units to fire on if multiple units are in range. Ensure you space out your units while fighting the turret. I understand. Attack and destroy the turret. Reinforcements are on their way. Destroying the turret has rewarded us with resources as well. The power core is now vulnerable for attack. The might of the blood ravens is real. The enemy has penetrated our base. They must have snuck around. The power core has a shelter ability you can activate. Activate Power Core Shelter to buy time for us to reposition our troops and drive the enemy back. You have my paper. Activate Power Core Shelter to buy time for us to reposition our troops and drive the enemy back. your stronghold and use the mass recall ability. Any of your units outside of combat will be teleported back to the stronghold. Defend our power core from the enemy. Our emergency recall ability is available. This is Gabriel. I agree. Just servants! No mercy! We will hold them all! Enemy! Defend our power core from the enemy. Long as our reach is oh. The enemy's power core is now wide open for counterattack. Destroy their power core. The enemy has sheltered their power core just like you did. Their power core is invulnerable while it is sheltered. Focus on killing the enemy forces until the shelter expires. All your fire does its work here! Fresh reinforcements are on their way. Well done. This concludes the Dawn of War 3 multiplayer tutorial. You now know what it takes to achieve victory in a multiplayer match.